Welcome back loyal viewers to our channel, your source for the latest news and untold tales about Catherine, the Princess of Wales and her esteemed royal family. Today we bring you breaking news. Catherine and William spotted with joyful smiles as they play hockey during a royal visit. On the royal family's tour of frigid Stockholm, Catherine competes in hockey against William, but is bested in a single shot. During their inaugural assignment, visiting Sweden and Norway, the Prince and Princess of Wales became competitive on a bandy hockey field. William and Catherine, dressed in heavy jackets, hooded tops and winter boots, were all given a paddle as well and encouraged to try scoring three goals. To tally from the red carpet whimsically laid across the ice, William went first and succeeded on both of his attempts. Catherine, a skilled hockey player in middle school, used to have solid technique but only scored one goal this time. The pair embarking on a four-day state visit of Sweden and Norway beginning in Stockholm, stopped by a skating arena in the city for the orientation. The two were also invited on a skiing excursion in Stockholm. Catherine looked flawless even in the bitter minus one degree weather by wearing a Burberry sheepskin coat along with tight pants and sorrel winter boots. Meanwhile, she and William reportedly were bobbing hats to protect their body heat. Ever the diplomatic dresser, the Duchess wore a burgundy jumper by popular Swedish brand Jalraven. The princess has always been one for diplomacy. Catherine and William selected a maroon sweater from renowned Swedish designer Jalraven. Catherine and William sipped a strong liquor beverage from a bottle packed into a bandy portfolio or bandy briefcase, a classic office-style suitcase that often contains a flask of glog or coffee spiked with alcohol. The liquid inside the flask is commonly known as glog, a mulled wine-like beverage. On their first engagement in Sweden, the Duchess and her husband were invited to a skiing jaunt in Sweden and Norway, where Catherine and William competed alongside each other on the bandy hockey field. The princess, a former collegiate hockey player, used to have good form but missed two of her three shots. William went first and was successful on both of his tries. The Princess of Wales couldn't help but grin at her hubby as she strode down the red carpet before her shot on goal. William placed a protective hand on her waist. The pair watched as two teams of burly athletes practiced the incredibly fast-paced sport. The night before, William and Catherine arrived in Stockholm on a private jet for a four-day tour of Scandinavia, departing from London after collecting their children from school and daycare. They were escorted to a ski resort in Stockholm by their 13-person entourage, which includes Catherine's hairstylist who caused a minor stir yesterday by posting a photo of the princess's hair on Instagram. The party also includes two private secretaries, four press officers, their senior advisor Sir David Manning, William's equerry, one orderly, a PA, a program coordinator, and a tour manager. The princess stayed warm in a quilted Burberry jacket and a gray fuzzy hat with a colorful pom-pom to keep her temples cozy. At the venue, the royal couple will interact with several Nobel laureates and learn more about research in Sweden, including the famed Nobel Prize process from the institution's administrator. The second day's activities are meant to highlight Swedish innovation as the globally renowned flat pack furniture of IKEA with a preference for eco-friendly designs. Their last engagement of the packed first day will be dinner at the British ambassador's residence, where they will stay for the remainder of their Stockholm visit, expected to be joined by members of the Swedish royal family, government and entertainment. Catherine had played field hockey and was expected to be quite good, but she really wasn't that great. An insider source added, she knew how and where to grip the stick and had a powerful stroke. I was blown away. Reporters believe William, who held his stick confidently, had a decent chance. I could see them enjoying hitting each other, the source continued. They were also encouraging each other to do better. After their time on the ice rink, William and Catherine went to the Royal Palace of Sweden, where they were greeted by King Carl XVI Gustav, Queen Sylvia, Prince Daniel, and the future Queen Victoria. The princess wore an emerald Catherine Walker coat instead of her usual Burberry coat. Queen Victoria wore a black Burberry sheepskin coat along with a tiny black Burberry purse instead of her usual handbag. On Thursday during the Norwegian royal family's recent trip to the United Kingdom, Prince William and Princess Catherine reconnected with their Norwegian counterparts, 
Crown Prince Hakon and Crown Princess Metmerit. Hakon and Metmerit had been scheduled to visit the UK last September. However, their trip was postponed following Queen Elizabeth E's funeral. Norway's King Harold and Queen Sanja joined the late monarch's formal burial service at Westminster Abbey. According to Kensington Palace officials, the Prince and Princess of Wales invited Crown Prince Hakon and Princess Met Merit to said Windsor Castle meeting, where they focused on addressing shared environmental concerns. Following their discussion with the Norwegian couple, Prince Harold and Princess Met Merit agreed to attend the ceremony. The royal family's official meeting was held on Thursday, July 23rd, when the four participants met with officials from three of Norway's biggest green energy technology companies. It follows a busy week of public engagements for Prince William and Princess Catherine. They went to Wales on Tuesday for various activities, including launching a project to create vegetable gardens to promote mental well-being and visiting a basketball court. Their royal duties continued on Wednesday when William and Catherine traveled to Liverpool to learn about the city's history, diverse communities, and thriving culture. The prince and princess kicked off their Liverpool visit at the foundation for Liverpool Cathedral, where they met local school children and viewed architectural models of the cathedral. After signing the visitor's book, they spent time greeting crowds who had gathered outside to see the royal couple. William and Catherine then visited a museum to learn about the city's football history and diverse communities. At the museum, the princess sported a vibrant green dress from one of her favorite designers, while William wore a dapper suit and tie. The pair smiled and laughed as they interacted with young footballers and viewed exhibits celebrating Liverpool's cultural heritage. After a busy morning, William and Catherine stopped for lunch at one of Liverpool's top local restaurants. The princess dazzled in a bold red dress paired with her signature tan heels and clutch. William looked sharp as always in a navy suit. During the meal, the couple chatted with restaurant owners and supporters of Liverpool's hospitality industry. The final stop on their Liverpool tour was a performance arts center. William and Catherine were treated to a spectacular show featuring music, dance, and theater that highlighted the city's thriving art scene. At the end of the performance, the prince and princess shook hands and posed for photos with the talented cast. Before departing Liverpool, William and Catherine took a stroll by the scenic River Mersey. Waving to cheering crowds, they beamed with joy at the successful visit. The prince was overheard telling the princess, these engagements are always exhausting but so rewarding. Catherine nodded in agreement as they made their way to the car. And that wraps up our coverage of the Prince and Princess of Wales eventful royal tour of Scandinavia and England. We hope you enjoyed this inside look at William and Catherine's public duties and travels. Thank you for watching today's video and being a loyal subscriber to our channel. We appreciate your views and support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more exclusive royal family updates. Wishing you and your loved ones a wonderful 2024. Happy New Year!